Alright, so retard old kids right here. You know, I, I, you, when you try to leave these retards alone, and I wasn't trying to leave them alone, it, it's just these folks really keep just, it, it's like that's why I said they're so dangerous because they're stupid. They literally, when you, once you leave them alone, it's like, well, we got to show you. Nobody cares. Remember, uh, like I said, them, them, them stupid ass niggas uh, down wherever in Stone Mountain. You know, not wherever, but in Stone Mountain, you know, they got they, they weapons. And it's like, nobody cares. Nobody. The, the, the thing is, you're, you want a, you want, you know, you want people to, you're doing this like so you're you're you think you're doing oh well they're they're you know them white folks and we're not that's the sad thing the real black people with common sense like terry cruz and everybody we're not like uh you know uh oh they, these white folks they're 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 so good and da, 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 da. no we're like common literally you kick down them white folks and and the week before that, remember because if, if some of y'all might not know, the week before that, they went to another neighborhood and got turned around because they're like, no, you're not gonna come through in it. We should be able to protest and da 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 da. da. And you know, like I said, like a uh, uh, the white couple, you know, the lawyer and the, and they're older and the woman. Remember, I said my thing is. You know, I don't want nobody who don't, and they're trying to, they think that's funny. That's how you can tell they're not no real motherfuckers. As they call that about that life. It's like they watch too much. Uh, what's that show on BT used to be? That show about the football players. Damn, what's that show was uh, with uh, the girl from uh, Steve Harvey show? Uh, you know, the, the football players. She the mama. Uh the game, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that, that about that life. You know, that's some whole shit. And you got grown men, you're like, how is that whole shit? Why are you that's not disrespectful? That's that what to me, what that is, that's the language. That's why we're talking about little boys that grew up, all these little even NFL and professional athletes who grew up in a single mama home. And you're like, what does that mean? I'm going to break it down for you. I'm going to tell you the real shit. You know, all that about that life. So if you're a grown-ass man and you're talking about about that life, that means you you had a mama who was fucking drug dealers. That's what that means. You're not a gangster yourself. You're not a thug. You're not Tupac. No, that means you're the son of some bitch that was fucking a whole bunch of drug dealers. And one of them got her pregnant. One of them won the fucking prize. She might have fucked three of them niggas in the same goddamn 72 cents. Uh, since we all know the, the time period because of them little shows, Paternity Court, Maury Povich, all that bullshit. So she fucking three. Uh, she, you know, she's a real bitch. All in, she only fuck hustlers. She only fuck drug dealers. The, all that means is she's no different than the same little chick that's fucking niggas for free. And I ain't even talking about your mama was a hoe. I'm just saying, you know, these niggas, they not paying her for the pussy, but they got to be hustlers. They got to be, you know, they didn't, they didn't did this and that and round the hood. So she, and my, matter of fact, she might even be fucking niggas that's into it with, she, with each other. So she fucking both of them niggas. Them niggas might be in different gangs. Them nigga, one nigga a disciple, one nigga a vice lord, one nigga a crip, one nigga a blood, all, all types of shit. You know, whatever these little offshoot brands are. And, and, you know, so one of them gets a pregnant. Only that's 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 science. Only one of them can get her pregnant. So that's when you know, so now it's 2020. Fast forward to 2020. You know, this happened in the 90s. You 24. You know what I'm saying? It's 2020. 
You think you gangster, but you listening to your single mama. All this bullshit and all the shit on BT. That's what we're trying to tell you. That's a gay ass George Soros shit. That's not a saying that a real nigga would say. You know what I'm saying? You ain't about that life. You sound like fucking, you know, you sound like one of them hoes on a goddamn Real Housewives of Atlanta or, or, or the other show. You're like, you're so mad. You know, you're, I'm talking about, yeah, that's what y'all probably finna say about you're so, no, I'm not mad. This shit disgusting. You know what I'm saying? Before that, I, I was a TLC fan, uh, or not a fan, you know. I used to listen to TLC, SWV. You know, I listen to all this. I ain't like the 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 the, the one that that's Ti's wife, and it's not because of Ti. I'm talking about back. I'm 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 the same age as, or whatever. Uh, uh, what's her name? Tiny. But at the time, you didn't know who she was. You know, at that point, I'm 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 in my early twenties, and I'm, at, I'm okay. Yeah, like why are you going into all that? I'm just saying I didn't like uh, Escape, none Escape. Yes, that's the group. I didn't like him, and it had nothing to do with none of that. You know, none of us heard of Ti at the time. I'm just saying that you know, to me, it was a SWV, a TLC. You know, the other ones, Brownstone, all the female groups. Anyway, long story short, I didn't like them, but. Okay, you're like, damn, you went, what the hell, dad? I, okay, my point, <laughs> you, okay, my point, my point, what I'm saying, all these, these, these effeminate, effeminate ass dudes got all these women, you know, thinking they're dudes, you're, you're, y'all women, y'all not dudes, and, and the women, y'all mamas, and some of y'all, you know, well, I, your mamas, you know, uh, the, in this day and age, she's only, you know, whatever. She's our age. She's not a dude. She's not gangster. I don't give a fuck how many drug dealers, how many killers. I mean, she might have fucked niggas literally that put tw 20 niggas in the grave. She didn't do it. She's just fucking that nigga and sucked his dick. Don't listen to her, nigga. I'm trying to tell you, and I never would have had in my lifetime when I was a teenager. Nobody had to tell me this. I'm kind of appalled. Not because, oh, I'm disrespecting women. No, a real woman, you know, she's not in that category. And, and she could be, oh, well, oh, I am a real woman. You know, she tell you, I, what the point is, if she's trying to tell you all this shit about gangster shit, no, do not listen. She's not a gangster. She's a gangster bitch. I get that much. She just fucked these niggas. She ain't make no decision. And even if she did, you know what I'm saying? I bet her crew is, is full of pussies. Ain't no way in hell I would work for a crew that's led by a woman. You're like, but you don't wear I know. But that's the point. I would have never did it. I would have never, never considered it. You're like, you're just one dude. I promise you. Nobody I know. You could be like, well, why are you such an authority on this? I, I, I promise you. I'm still here. I'm still free. You're not, because women, they're, they're emotional, nigga. I don't give a fuck how tough this, because she gets it from trying to act like a man. So when she, she, she when she, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, green lights a hit. Even though she thinks she's just acting like a man would do, she's emotional. Somehow that man didn't piss her off emotionally. She might even be just be on her period. Nigga, if you, no, no, do not listen. Oh, we, da, 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 da. They think money, you know, in a nice car. That's why she did that. That's why that little white chick, you know, she just drove around this way. No, she's a bitch. And it's not, oh, she's a bitch, uh, disrespectful. No, 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 no. She literally, she's a bitch means she has ovaries and a pussy, a vagina. And it's not disrespect. What I'm saying is, if you want to date her, that's fine. But if you listen to it and you think you a goddamn gangster, no, nigga. <laughs> I, I promise you, you're not going to make it. Nobody's mad at you. There's no hate. We don't have time for hate. That's why I laugh. That's why majority of my videos, just like right now, are laughing at you niggas. I don't have nothing to worry about. I done made three years of videos laughing at you fuck niggas. You know what I'm saying? I promise you. 
I'm still going to make videos after this. Just like that little hoe ass nigga just walked out. I don't know. It seems like right there, that's that's where all the hoe niggas stay. I ain't got no problem with the hoes. You got a problem with that bitch? No, I have no problem with that bitch. You're like, oh, oh, you scared? No, I could care less. But a fuck nigga, because you have way more impact on society and our neighborhoods. That little bitch ass nigga that just walked out. He's way more dangerous than that bitch. You're like, well, she can fuck dudes and make no. Because the rest of it's too many of us. It's way too many real niggas. You think there ain't? I promise you. It's way too many real niggas that, that, that we have to worry about. That little bitch that just got out and drove around here in the, the little white Acura. We don't have to worry about her. What we have to worry about, that little fuck ass nigga that just walked out right here. And according to BLM, if we kill that nigga right there, that's not a big deal. Shit, ain't no big deal for killing that nigga right there. He ain't shit. You know, shit, that's what's up. Appreciate it.